Hey, it's Vinny Command. I'm back with another Paleo video. This time we have speed tours. We have 10 of them. I'm so excited to show you each and every one of them. Sit back, enjoy, grab some popcorn, grab a snack, and don't forget to like the video. Comment, let me know what you enjoyed, and follow me for more Paleo tours. And if you're interested in a tour, there's going to be a link in the description. And if you want to do a speed tour, which are pretty casual, stop by any Thursday around 7 o'clock Central Time and just talk and chat. We love touring some homes. Let's get into them. First and foremost, welcome to Plushyville. Plushyville! Oh my gosh. Look at all of these flowers. I love this. Dude. Oh my gosh. Tell me about this place. Alrighty, this is like, whoa. Entrance is so, gorgeous. Uh, yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to cut you off. I'm excited. No, no, no. I was cutting you off. Um, <laughs> so it was originally started as just a tavern where, you know, friends could come over and just talk or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I like to talk to people. I like to get to know people. Oh, yeah. I had It was the first Margie, Mar Margie Market, which was like in September or something. Mm -hmm. And I had one plushie. I had no interest in doing Margie Market whatsoever. And I accidentally took the one chopper plushie I had and I put it on a chair. Oh. So once I did that, Chopper Tavern was born, and I did. It was like two weeks left of Maji Market. I did every single Chopper Chase that I could to get sixty-one choppers. What? That's so amazing. Right now, so right now, in total, there's a hundred and one plushies here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's incredible. And so I, I arranged it as if it was like a living, breathing village of plushies. I tried to make it as believable as possible. I I believe it. I do you believe in chapas? Of course. <laughs> yeah. No. No. I right off the bat too, and we're getting into the the magic hours here. You already nailed lighting. Like I like how you just kind of snuck the lighting into the the foliage, but it's so packed in, so nice in here. Ah. Yeah, I always tell I always tell people that was a bad uh it's like a bad Tetris game in there. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Well, uh if you've seen any of my other tours, you're my tour guide. It's all it's always better. I like following you around because you're okay. the expert here. Um so like I said, so real quick, um it started as Chopper Tavern. It was Chopper Tavern until the, the, the limit was lifted to three K. Mm -hmm. And then plush and then Chopper Village was born, and then I got a bunch of plushies and now plushy village. Ah, oh, yeah. So this building was made to hide a cake kitchen. <gasps> oh, my gosh. You really do a great job with colors, too. Thank you. So this is our little bakery. <sighs> That's so adorable. Of course, it's owned wow. by the Twitch cat. Yes. Yes. I don't do too much glitching. Like, I don't do merging of items. Um, but this is the one glitch that you'll see here is the wall glitch that you use a uh, treasure chest. I don't know if you've, if you've seen that before. I, I haven't, but, like, I totally got the uh, the vibe that you're going for. You know, the closing, um, like, the for a bar. I don't know. Words words are hard right now. But I, I, dig, I dig the pantry. Nice little storage area. Folding counter. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love how that helps I, me out. <laughs> I wanted to make a cake kitchen look beautiful and oh, not just be functional. Yes. Yes. So that was my main goal with this building. Even before the front was furnished, I wanted to make the back look beautiful. Yeah. I always appreciate that. I mean, it's one thing to just have a bunch of the the stations and stuff like that. But when you take, when you add in the designs and everything in with it, it, it really makes it, it elevates it from a cake kitchen to like a proper setup. And this is, this is really nice. Again, nailed lighting, you nailed your colors. You have really good, uh, color choices for your, your backdrops. Like everything just blends really nicely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Here, here's the fun irony to this. I have okay. never done a cake party. <laughs> never joined one, never threw one, never did it. I just wanted the challenge of making a cake kitchen look beautiful. 
<laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. You totally there's nailed a, it too. Thank you. There's a there's a back door here. It's not much. Um, the reason there's a back door here is because I wanted a different door for the front. Uh huh. So this is just an area that you can throw away garbage. I'll, I might put a seat here. I can use like 14 more items before I hit the 3K limit. Oh my gosh. How do you know? Like, have you just kept track or where so you hit I, the so limit and you subtracted it? No. So I call this uh, crew just very invented um, decor limit uh, warning system, right? <laughs> and so what essentially I did was I put 400 posts out. So I knew when I was hitting only 400 items left. Oh so my this gosh. represents the, the the limit that I have left. Oh, that's a that's a really creative and simple way of determining like what your limit is. And if you needed room for something, you just you take a pole away. That is a great idea. Yeah, that's so that's how I was able to manage expectations. And every time I do a big reno, I put more posts out here so I can keep track of myself so I don't go crazy with big ideas. Because I, I I get away from myself sometimes. This is you're in good company to just let your mind go crazy. And I I do hope, you know, you stick around with us because there's lots of people I'd like you to meet. <laughs> oh, definitely. Ah. Uh. So I wanted to just add them like as if, as, if, as if they were living. So that way um, it's more believable. So this is just a little fruit stand that I designed. That's so cute. And then oh my this, gosh. this right here is one of my newer buildings, and I, I, I got it with the update in the Maji Market stuff, and I wanted to make like an Asian themed restaurant. Oh, yes. I, I love this little bar over here. That's such a nice touch. Get your sushi and sit and look out the bay window. Wow, this is so cool. I also love this mushroom. He's also a fun guy. He's a very fun guy. <laughs> he takes his job very seriously, though. You seen his look on his face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the original tavern. I have modified it a little bit over the coming months, but this was the tavern. This was formerly Chapa Tavern. Oh, my word. Wow. This is adorable and incredible at the same time. Oh, I love the booths. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to go meander over here for a second. Go ahead. Oh, look I find at all it the better when people go here. off on their own. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at I, all this. Yeah, go ahead, I've go seen ahead. this. I've seen this property so many times that I might pass by something. So I, I like when people just go off on their own, go explore, go go enjoy. Yeah, I got you. No, I I, I understand. Another thing too is that uh, you know people, the people who created the plots, who designed them, you know the ins and outs of it. You know all the little details, and so it's like a combination of you know your guidance and my meandering. That's where the magic happens. But look at these booths. Oh, these are so proper. You could fit a whole bunch of people there. Yep. I like to leave spaces open so that way you can enjoy yourself with the plushies. Like you can feel a part of it. So if you notice, whenever I build, there's places where you can actually sit, where you can actually join in on the fun. Yeah. And I've seen people come in and they take pictures and, and they just enjoy it. That's awesome. That's one of the beautiful things I've I've noticed about Paleo too is that just the way the way that uh certain designers like yourself uh, become like a steward of joy, you know? You like to bring yeah. other people here and just make them happy. I think it's a beautiful thing. I got the biggest compliment. Somebody said this was like uh, they were going to like a Disney theme park. I yeah, that's a huge compliment and I I totally get that vibe too. Cuz of how So this is decorated it is and everything and how colorful it is yeah <gasps> sorry the stream delay sometimes yeah yeah no it's all good so this is one of my favorite areas just because of this the, the hot tub <laughs> they're having a meeting 
Yeah, that, that's about what it is. Shop a business. Well, if they're in there too long, they're gonna be chopping masala. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, catching up on some chat, Sarah F. Everyone is so creative in this game. It's so true. It's so true. Big to small. There is inspiration everywhere. Following you, good friend. All right, so this is brand new. Um, I'm missing one key item, oh. but I wanted to try my hand at the pavilion. Oh, and my so word. Yeah, there's a pavilion. <laughs> I turned it into a coffee shop. Oh, yes. Now, if only RNG could be on my side and I can get that actually coffee, that coffee machine would be great. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll have a cappuccino, please. As you can see, the plushies are just everywhere. And I, I, I try to put a lot of thought into where I place them. So it, there, there's empty spots, but you don't feel like there's empty spots. Right. Yeah, it feels full, but there's still availability. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, the, the florals are fantastic. Thank you. I, I was bugged for the longest time, so they were all made of wood. And they took up like 700 more items. So as soon as the bug came, the bug fix fixes came out, I completed the gale and I got the new fences and I saved like 500 items right off the back. Look at this stage. That's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. I like how you use the torch as a little microphone. Uh... Yeah, and I, was, I was like racking my brain trying to figure out what I was going to use. And that, that just came to my head. That's so creative. That is so cool. At first, the band was three choppers, and then that same day I completed this, I got the Kitsune by luck. <sighs> yes. Yes. So as you see, there's little shops, little little uh, food areas. Everybody's just eating, drinking, having a good time. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, how, how, do, how do the choppers actually earn money, you know? Oh, yes. How do they earn money? And so I created this. This is the furniture shop. Oh. How adorable. I also, I also wanted to make this to display furniture in different colors to people that don't have, you know, all the materials to spend trying to figure it out. Yeah, I, I love how people have done that, too. Just kind of uh, some showcases and stuff. That's so cool. But the real reason I made the furniture shop was to hide my workshop. Oh. I didn't want my workshop out in the open. Look and I didn't this. want a separate plot just for my workshop. Yeah. Oh, I actually can see you've already incorporated some of the steampunk items. That's awesome. Holy moly. <laughs> So they're up there building furniture, turning it from makeshift into homestead. Yes. You have one of them mixing paints. What? This is so crazy. Wow. And as you can tell, I, I just redid this area because it's full of the steampunk stuff. I know, but it's incredible, though. That's wild. And in this back area, you have this little chopper actually painting the furniture. Oh, how cute. So some of the pieces are painted, some of them are not. And he has little paint vials and he's using, I believe that's Tamala's like perfume bottle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And as you can see, all of my stations are out of the way. You don't get to see them. They're yeah, all hidden behind here. They're nice and hidden. That's really cool. Little sneaky sneaks. Nice. Nice touch. And even and though you something... haven't met your cap yet, though, it's so cool how everything still looks so full. And organized. It's hard. I min max a lot. Like I eliminate a tree here. You know, a plant has to go here. Yeah. Oh, it's a little school. 
Oh my god. So with this bu- this building, I didn't want the first room to give it away. So this is a school. And you can't tell until you get into the second room. Yeah, that is that is so freaking cute. He's giving a speech. <laughs> oh, how adorable. And a whittle bathroom. And another whittle bathroom. And to add to the touch, in the the little boy's bathroom, the toilet seat is up. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, boy. Man, this is the next level stuff. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then as mayor of Plushieville, I need a house. So this is my actual house. Oh, here we go. And I didn't want nothing too big. I couldn't fit anything too big. I'm at 30 out of 30 anyway. (laughs) Oh, wow. This is lush. Look how lush this is, y'all. Wow. That's so cool how you incorporated a dining space with a kitchen space. And then you have this cozy space over here. I like how the mood changes as you go in here, like the, the capital chic stuff. Yeah, I wanted it to feel like cozy and modern at the same time. Nailed it. Totally. And then I wanted the rock to feel real behind the fireplace, so I didn't hang anything on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 very relatable. That's cool. A nice nice touch to it. And then awesome. with the bathroom, I wanted to use the ranch, but the 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 color of the ranch, the, the white furniture was too overpowering. So I, I laid down blue pieces just to separate that. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Nice to kind of give little pops, but well done, good sir. Well done. Thank you. So, yeah, I uh, I think what we'll have to do, you know, since we have our, our nice little uh, tour, since we've done our little speed tour here, uh, we totally should schedule a time where we're going to do uh, a full tour with some Q&A. What do y'all think, chat? Y'all, y'all agree with me? I know y'all agree with me because y'all been blowing up the chat as it is. <laughs> but well done, Kruja. Very well done. What? Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> it's a baby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, do not apologize. We love kids in the committee. I do have one question, though. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, who sent you my way? I can't remember. I got to find out who. My memory is so bad. It's okay. That's okay. It's more out of curiosity than anything else. But yeah, uh, I will go and we'll, we're will we going to get our next tour going on. And you're welcome to uh, join us in voice chat. I know lots of people in Watermelon have lots of wonderful things to tell you. Love us some speed tours, don't we? I really, I watch all of your tours on YouTube pretty <gasps> often, so... Awesome. Where did you go? I'm here. Oh, there you are. Snuck up on me. I dig your green hair. That's cool. Thank you. All it right. is r- realism. Realism. Nice. Well, you're my tour guide. Where are we going? Uh, we can just go in the front. I can kind of let you go where you want to go. Oh, that's not how it works. You got to tell me where to go. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I kind of, I have this space very open to where you can kind of be led in any direction. Oh, yeah. It mostly goes back. Check out those sight lines. Ooh, we'll go to the right here first. Like a blue kitchen. This is my main kitchen. It's where I cook a lot. I'm in here a lot. It's fully functional. I do have a second kitchen that's just for looks. (laughs) Oh, nice. Thanks so much, Cameron, for joining. This is really cool. I like the blue backdrop. Like, makes it look like a like a wavy, wavy, beachy kitchen. This is also kind of a nice trick too. putting that wall uh, on the back. You got your jammers. You'd be jamming. I tried to kind of base the theme of each of my rooms around like the the main 
wallpaper I put as like my accent wall. That's a nice, that is a really cool thing. That's a cool trick. I love how everybody has their own little interpretation and how they do things and, you know, um, just kind of using that as an accent in the back. That's, that's a really cool, really cool idea. That is really cool. I also this like how your, <laughs> your colors and stuff just like transition into the different rooms. I tried to blend colors more than I usually do because when I first started, all of my rooms were very kind of one color and I wanted to kind of drag them all together a little bit. So I just started adding like piece by piece, like one thing that's a different color and then trying to add from there. I dig it. We have some of the new wallpapers too. And it's so cool too. Every time we see uh, new items and wallpapers getting added into the game and um, seeing how people incorporate them into the, into their, their houses. It's always just, it's idea fuel. You know what I mean? I was so excited about the new wallpapers, especially when I saw the one that I put in my office. I already had that like desk set up along the wall and it fit perfectly to line up with my shelves. And that it, was so satisfying. I know. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Really nice touch. Uh, yeah, we like the capital chic stuff. It's so chic and sleek. Nice. Very clean, very clean. And now I'm back here. Oh. I like how this is totally, in case you were wondering, <laughs> I would say this is totally clean core. That's really interesting, actually, because I... I play The Sims also, and I feel like when I'm doing that, I'm usually really, like, cluttered. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the but irony... here, I just... <laughs> the irony to that is... Uh, when it looks like this, and the first thing that goes through your mind is, like, forgive the clutter, you're totally clean, core, Just hands <laughs> down. Yeah, Denebla says, nope, this is clean. We love it. We're here for it. <laughs> Nice, nice. Yeah, this this is really well balanced. You have lighting in uh, in really cool places. You got the cozy fireplace. I've tried to find a balance between using the light for ambience and using it in places that I think would be realistic or like practical in real life. You might be clean core. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just totally saying right now, like, so well balanced. Thank you. And we got this nice, nice workshop here. I like how people have been incorporating the steampunk items into their workspaces. It's my favorite room right now, just because I get to start adding all the Paltech stuff in and little corners and finding yeah. things to do with it. And then the purple room. Oh, tell me about this room. I can tell this room has a story. The two characters that I have romanced are Reth and Jell, nice. which definitely bleeds through into my house. I wanted my like dressing room kind of sitting chill area to kind of reflect Jell. And then my second kitchen is just kind of like a, a space that I imagine Reth would be experimenting on all of his new recipes. You mean his recipes? <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Couldn't help. No, that's help myself. awesome. <laughs> so this chair here is where people that you don't like sit because all it takes is just a couple little nudges and that sword will fall on their head. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. No, this this really is beautiful. You nailed lighting. You nailed all the little touches. It's very clean, organized, balanced. Uh, you nail the the colors of the walls too. And welcome, Dunleith. Yeah. So we have. Uh, I I notice lots of people that you know they feel like they have to have 
a different wallpaper for every single room. And the fact that you kind of use like the existing wallpaper that comes with the house in the designs, that's a really nice touch. And also oh. one more thing, sorry. sorry. <laughs> the reason why you're clean core is the sight lines. You have sight lines like everywhere. I do really try to to make nice sight lines. <laughs> <laughs> Kaslin wants me to take the fungi off. Do you happen to have a wardrobe handy? I do, and I can. It's right here. Nice. She dared me to wear the fungi hat, and I was was wearing it the whole time so it's one of my favorite new cosmetic items that they've added it's it's a good hat it is a good hat it's so wide brimmed and like i feel like you would never never get sunburned on your face absolutely <laughs> also demon kitty says and you can actually walk through a house without tripping like that was something that I actually had to rethink when I was originally designing this space specifically because I was putting like these pantries and stuff here to make like two little hallways between mm -hmm. my rooms. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend was talking about how he could not build like that because you have to like be walking around things. So I was like, do I need to space things out more? <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny because like, um, when you have to tell people how to walk through your house, that's when you become clutter core. Yeah. <laughs> you need to walk in this very specific place, uh, only have like certain room, you know, for you to walk. Yeah. And I see you got some things going on over here. I what grabbed these pavilions the second that... I got on the game after the update came out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait to see all the different and creative things people come up. Oh, will somebody please redeem the Hodari? Do it. Do it for <laughs> science. <laughs> it's a channel point thing. Just click on the little icon. Click Hadari. You know you you know you want to. In here we have a super cozy place. Ooh. This was actually inspired by um how I thought my boyfriend might decorate a house in Paleo because he said that, you know, I had so many rooms and stuff and he felt like he it's would probably just kind of stick with like the original Hadari. harvest house. And I was like, Oh okay, I'm gonna build you a harvest house that is one room, you get a bathroom, and that's that's going to be your cozy little cabin space. This is where you go. Yes. <laughs> this is where you go. Uh, don't come near my prettiness. You're going to judge me for my bookcases. I got your plot right here. And it's all, and you know what? It's all going to be makeshift stuff. I tried to put a little bit of makeshift stuff in there. I'm actually in the process of transitioning it to more like capital chic stuff, but I did want it to be a little bit like cabiny and mm -hmm. a little makeshift still. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're like you're gonna you're gonna judge me for my house. This is where you go. I love it. It's fine. <laughs> I love the little picnic areas. Really cool touches. Really cool touches. And you know what? Hey, thank you so much for having me out of course does that mean that you'll also you know sign up for a tour and i'll come back when you got a whole bunch of more so thank you so much for uh for having me out i will follow you and i will talk talk our way through it first off i can already tell we got some pass. Look at these. Holy smokes. Wow. Look at how this is all laid out. Like I said, I'm I'm following you. What? Holy cow. Look at this. 
That's a, that is, wow. Wow. Coriander. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I've seen pictures of this, but, but like, whoa, like, whoa, so jelly right now. <laughs> oh man. In we go. In we go. Everybody take a deep breath. Oh my goodness. Look at how organized this is. And we love us a good kitchen, don't we? Oh, I love this dining table. It's so cute. Nice little kind of a kind of a mudroom area. Not quite. I mean, I guess it is. How cute is this kitchen? Design had to take time. Yeah, totally. Totally. And check out them sight lines. Sight lines for days. Hello, good sir. Recipes. I was wave. <laughs> Don't mind me. I was just dorkily waving at Reth, you know. Little hallway snack. If you get hungry, like midway, going from one room to another. Designing is hard work, isn't it? Get hungry, just going from room to room. Oh, look at the gyroscope. That's so cool. I like the gyroscope. This is super cozy. I like this den. Ooh, I also like this. You know, it's hard because I like all the rooms. And I don't mean to minimize any of the rooms, but the designs here are really cool. I like this. Perfect place to go check a, check out the stars. And you have this magic ball here. I really think it looks like a bowling ball. But that's just where my brain goes. Seriously gorgeous, says the nebula. And I happen to agree. Love all of the bold colors. I also really like the, the wallpaper that you chose in here. Like it's super cozy. Just kind of blends in really nice and, and gently with everything else. Oh, yeah. Crystal ball. You uh, you missed something. Uh, go back to where the... I'll be right back. Go back to where the, the bowling ball was. Let's see. Next room. Slow pan around. Yes. Scan it again. Scanning. Scanning. Scanning for Kaslin. Beep, boop, boop. I am a commit robot. Commit bot. Beep, boop, boop. Are you talking about those dumplings? Are you talking about this clock? Beep boop. I'm commit bot. Beep boop boop. Dump dumplings. <laughs> Ed Culp, thanks for the follow. All right, Deborah. We have sassified Kaslin and her craving for dumplings. We may resume. Beep boop commit bot has his pro uh, batteries charged. <laughs> oh. Yes, his sense of humor remains intact. <laughs> if I were a robot in Paleo, my oneness would be house tours. I love this. This is very beautiful. Lots of beautiful mixtures. Oh man, this is such a cool transition. What a stellar bathroom. Very soothing. Like, do y'all smell mint in here? Does it smell minty? I feel like it's like minty and eucalyptus.
Ah, oh, yes. Oh, so, so pretty. In the zone. Where, ooh, where to next? Ocean vibes you get from that bathroom. We're going to go in here next. We'll go back to the other room. I really like your gallery walls. You you totally nail down the gallery walls. These are having a conversation. Oh, uh, this is right here. This right here is the life. Peanut butter jelly sandwiches, hot chocolate. It's totally a mood. I love the I love the face on that mushroom. This is so cool. I love all the plush, plushies here. Cool fireflies. Very well done. Very well done. Oh, look at that accent wall. Such a nice little touch. Brace yourself for the last room. All right, you got it. Oh, wow. This is so fancy. So fancy. This isn't even in the last room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? What? Good luck in there. Oh, my word. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. This just got R rated. <laughs> oh. Y'all, y'all are. <laughs> Y'all need to hurry up. <laughs> oh. oh, it's on cooldown. Oh, man. Missed it. Oh, man. That's just so fantastic. That's a beautiful little, beautiful little area. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it, Odata? Oh, boy. Steamy up in there. <laughs> Fall on you. When can I move in? Pretty please? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's so cool. Nice little target practice. I like how you've you've used these, you know, as like walkway uh, places. Oh, look at this! Got a band going on. Love the floating candles. Remind you, of Harry Potter. Yeah, totally, totally. Looks like we have a ladder. Might be something neat up here. Wow, check that out. That's cool. That's really cool. Studying books and such. Well, well done. You want the ceiling floating candles, but would need some help doing it. Settle for my floating candles. Yeah. I I dig this. I dig this pavilion where you have it. Got some crafting things. Got a little extra something. Uh oh. All right. Following you. <gasps> it's a baby. Oh, going back here. Oh, hey. That's really neat. That's really neat. Still dying over the path. I know, right? This is so cool. 
it's it's a really cool it's a really cool way to to honor those that came before us you know i think it's very beautiful that uh people have you know expressed that that thing that that feeling in many different ways through their builds thank you so much for having me uh letting me be a part of that it really means a lot have we have we covered everything? Oh, we need this room. One more room. Ooh, this is where the doing gets done. Storage area slash uh, crafting pumpkins. Oh yeah. Full tour, full tour. <laughs> That's right. Little guest house too. We'll go to the little guest house. Yeah, definitely sign up for a full tour. Those of you who are on the fence. Ooh, nice. Please go ahead and sign up. This is this is your official uh official blessing from commit. Just go ahead and do it. The reason why is that you'll have lots of time before. I love this little this little area. Snacks in front of the fire. Light a candle. It's a beautiful guest house. I'd I'd pay to stay here. I could get so much stuff done. Yenny says full tour. Everybody says full tour. We're cheering you on, Deborah. It's totally, totally true. But thank you. Thank you so much. It is a true honor. And I will see you around. Get some sleep. Because it's like 3 a.m. where you are, isn't it? <laughs> Bye. Don't forget your Kitsu present. Certainly won't want food here, that's for sure. <laughs> Straight to bed. I'm popping on over right now. Okay. The most important thing to remember for a speed tour or a full tour, and this is my okay. number one rule, be yourself. Okay. Just be, you know. First off, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love how everything is just so, so organized. You have, it's a little thing. But how you've mixed the trees to kind of give that uh, the different colors of green in them, that's such a nice, nice look to it. Oh, yeah. But um, I think that's is... where the, the oak trees, the, they're, they're my favorite. So uh, I'm not too into the pine trees. <laughs> that just looks so grand, doesn't it, chat? Oh, man. I'm following what... Okay. That gazebo, hold up. Okay. You want to go? I, I, the gazebo first. <laughs> I will follow you, but that okay. gazebo Ooh. caught my eye. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. There's something fishy um, about this gazebo. I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah. I love, I love the gazebo. It's like sitting inside of an aquarium. Yeah. Um, and I had not seen it before, but I was watching a video um, of a tour you did not long ago and i think somebody else had a fish gazebo so they were they were feeling those aquarium vibes oh as i as i was yeah and yeah look, this i finally got the ancient fish that took me i'm kind of like was it ellie you said had got had hooked and then lost it because mm, of the unicorn fish yeah yes I hooked that um, ancient fish and the unicorn fish probably seventeen. I haven't. I still haven't got a star unicorn fish, but I think I hooked them about seventeen times before I finally got them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. There, you know, the beauty about um, what you said right now is there is a whole lot of people on the other side of the screen that are nodding their heads. They're like, yep. I don't know. I think, I, have, I think I just have two fish left to get star, so I really yeah. I can't complain. I'm happy with what I got. That's um, good. And this is my little census over here by the um, water. I, I didn't want to block the view at the little pond because I I do fish there a lot. I'm trying to get my fishing up. But yeah. I put my little kit zoo over here. I think this is really <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Because, like, how you, most people, you know, they, they'll they take the fencing all the way to the edge of your plot. But yeah. the fact that you kind of uh, sectioned it off and you kept it open, it it makes it, it makes it a place. It's a, it's a different, it's a different vibe to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Denebola says, I kid you not, I screamed when I caught Ancient and I rarely scream. <laughs> oh, I did. I had sweaty palms and everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Because they they jump scare you because you fish. I think I caught the alligator gar a hundred times before I ever got the ancient fish um to bite. So, and this is what I've done with my little pavilion. I've kind of <sighs> paired it after what I would like in real life. Just a little oh. scenario with a bar. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is, I know it's a refrigerator, but I pretend it's uh, a beer brewery. <laughs> mm. it, to me, it looks like a like a um, a pit smoker. Yeah, it kind of does. And I was kind of bummed that the grill couldn't sit on the uh, pavilion, but it's it's fine right there. Yeah. And I put the little sink over here for a wet bar. I'm not real into the. What is this called? Paltech? Um Yeah, the steampunk I, type some stuff. Of the pieces, yeah, some of the pieces are cool. I really do like them. I like how you have everything so warm and it's like decorated really nicely. <laughs> yeah, Denebola says it is whatever you want it to be. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. Got a nice little Very area. Very neutral. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with that too. I like yeah. your strategic uh, storage here too. I've seen a lot well, of people do that recently, and that's cool. Looks like a pat. I don't know if this will ever be anything, but if it did, like, I'd, I'd yeah. probably kind of make it like no, worn. it's it's a worn path, and <laughs> if that ever opens up over there, like you're ready for it. And I, you know, I've seen some people that have done the same thing with uh, the path leading up to the mine, but I mean, this is just right. so it's so well organized. So well organized. No, absolutely. I got my little choppers here. They're um, having, having their a little snack. Chips and queso. <laughs> yes. I just bought the two hunter targets uh, yesterday, actually. I placed nice. those over here. Hunt the deer, not the um, choppers. Right, right. A little sitting area. And I've got, I like the dragon tide. It's a it doesn't matter once we get in the house you'll see i don't have a whole lot of dragon tide in there but i think it's so pretty and it kind of goes with the whole aquarium to me so i set it over here yeah a little sitting area i love and it I've got, here's all the alligator gar and <laughs> the beluga sturgeon that oh, my oh. Feel. yeah me too it's all in the timing commit it's all in the yeah, timing because you can't um or if you can place it, I haven't figured that out. But I just put a little sitting area here. Nice. I like how people have Nothing have done little s whatever. I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. so. The hidden stairways in the trees. So. Yeah. But I mean, when you're like, "Wow, well, it's nothing too fancy." Mm -mm. No. This is where okay. this is the opposite where people are like shaking their heads. They're like, "Girl, don't even play with me right now. This is so fancy." I've got on this side is the like this is so regal. Bird. Yeah, the silver wing. Um, so I put the phoenix statue 
a little yeah. what is this? A little who's it? Yeah, who's it? Sound like a bird sanctuary is kind of what I was going for here. I know. I I love that. I love that. This Got this gazebo uh, over here. Nod to all the the gemstones that I'm holding. Oh yeah. Love the gemstones, how people have incorporated those into their builds too. Yeah. With the investigator furniture. And I had to put a little bit more makeshift back here. I love the makeshift. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's two items that I don't have. One of them's the planner. Um, the dress, it looks like a dresser with the plants coming out. I want yep. it so bad. <laughs> yeah, is there any makeshift stuff uh, for those of you who are in chat that you don't have and, and you wish you did? You know what's worse? Dunlinth is like, if you've, you've, you put in the time and the effort uh, to to like get the makeshift items and stuff, and then someone in that you know, like, just gets that item. The first time, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I feel that all, to, all the way to my core. Yes. yes. <laughs> Makes you envy. <laughs> yes. Hey, Brixana. Like, no um, problem. The, the Pergulas, I think it's called. I literally have 17 of those. And I know people that don't have any, and that's what they want. Um, yeah. the couches, I probably have 20 or 30, Ooh. um, but can't, but cannot get that, uh, garden planner. To save yeah. My life. Oh. All right. Fall on you. Where to next? This is my little workshop. Um, oh. where I, I craft my furniture. Oh, um, what a beautiful little crafting area. God, it's. It's a workshop, but I wanted to make it girly. And my trophy, yes. I've only I've only put my highest level of each trophy because that that's the one that matters. <laughs> this is properly girly. I like it. It's so, so pretty. I'm trying to I'm trying to get all um all my levels up for the gold trophies, but yeah, yeah. fishing is so boring to me. <laughs> but we do what we have to do, right? We do what we must. Yes. My, um, other uh, stone crafting areas out here. Yes, jammers. You my, jamming? Yeah, my jammers, and I hid my um lumber things in the back here. Oh yeah, yeah. With my uh re tool repair. Thing. Nice. Okay, it's very uh very functional, very simple. No, Very that's, practical, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. Right. That is really cool. I like the little uh, walkway that you created here. Yes, again, it kind of looked like a a worn path, so I just try to kind of mark, you know, match that up. And then I've got my little another little makeshift nod under the um the wind. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's a really nice touch. And you're, you know, like you're like, it's no big thing, but you're totally giving lots of people in chat FOMO, so. And once I've literally got 30 more medals, I think, for, uh, to get the whale. And it, I plan for it to go here, so that's why there's an empty space there. Nice. Um, that's also something important yeah. for those of you to kind of keep in mind is once you yeah, get far enough down long to, like, plan ahead, you know. <laughs> So yeah, we'll go into the. All right, power. everybody, take a deep breath. <gasps> nothing fancy. Oh my gosh! Whatever. The entry. These are the pictures of all the ones I've romanced so far. Tamala is my last one. I'm almost there. <sighs> That's Can also we just work in process. Appreciate the sight lines. Like, oh my gosh, the portraits that you have. Wow. Holy smokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a flow. Totally clean core. We're going this way next. Holy mm -hmm. smokes. This is my aquarium room, library, whatever you would like to call it, with my little half bath. Oh, 
I love the aquarium. It's probably one of my favorite things. And then I got the the conch shell recipe. I got that the other day from the new Bahari loot pile. Oh my gosh, yes. That's really nice. I think I've gotten every This dining time. room is so fancy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. Yes, I saw you share a picture. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start. Maybe I need to watch Titanic again. I'm kind of, yeah. It does kind of give that. Uh, that, that is incredible. It is incredibly impressive. Normal dining. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is the parlor, lounge, office, um, whatever. I do have my uh, the flying insects in here just to decorate. The With nice little curios and things like. Okay, <laughs> chat, this is the first here. <laughs> this is the first on my channel. I feel underdressed. <laughs> I love the candles that you have on either side of these little display pieces. Yeah, Holy I think those smokes. Are the winter light, winter light candles. <laughs> Denebulus <laughs> says that's a table my ex mother in law would have said. <laughs> <laughs> It itself is a little bit less formal. Um, yeah, I, I love the industri industrial um, furniture. So I try to use. Um, this is your everyday dinner. dining area. That's yeah. the that's the one yeah. you know when you have a, a big dinner party. The, the oh, table. hot damn! Look at this kitchen. <laughs> wow. I to have a big kitchen just like in real life i i get to cooking and i'm kind of all over the place um yes but yeah oh man that's so this cool the this is the mudroom slash i pretend this you know i think we all pretend this is the washer laundry yeah but, and it kind of comes out into the back again to the worn out path back here oh with yeah. the laundry <laughs> yeah with the laundry paleo and fresh yeah yeah wow i have, I have doors all over because the house is so big when i want to go out somewhere i had to have all these extra side doors <laughs> just <laughs> quick little getaways but i, I mean walk. It's so, it's, it's so, yeah, man, if we were on HGTV, I mean, this is totally ranch style. It, this is so yeah. really cool. If we had is, the option to have like a second story, would you have one or would you keep it like wide open like this? Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, this I is agree. The, the, the bug room. I think I have every one of the bugs. Um, I'll put a little reading look in there. The bugs. Oh, it's such a nice little you. transition. Oh, yeah. Like you don't, you I don't realize it, but it's just so warm mm -hmm. and everything. Oh my gosh! Let's see. More sight lines. Oh man! This uh, curtain trick, I did see this on one of one of your videos. I wish I could remember who I saw do it first, but I love how how it looks. So much oh yeah, more cool with the three. Totally. This is the guest bedroom. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love how people have done these little vanities. It's such a nice, nice, cute thing. Yeah. Well, Damn, this is one hell window. of a guest bedroom, though. Holy moly. This is my room for mm, the mining gemstones. Oh, wow. A little bit of everything. So, to quote you, you said, oh, it's nothing fancy. Come on. It really? <laughs> Chat has determined that was a lie. It's it's very... I've seen some that just have... I mean, they just wow me. They're just... It's just so much. And the imagination and creativity that everybody has. Mine's very... It is clean core. Simple. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. 
Take the win, Dunleith. Take the win. (laughs) I love the bathroom. Oh, yeah. We kind of came together. um, (laughs) This is fancy. The lies. It is top class. I know. I I feel underdressed walking through this house. Yeah. This is like Paleon High Society. Like the mayor would be jealous, you know? That's that's what I was going for, is to make Eshi jealous. So, no, oh, yeah. Kidding. Yeah, totally. Totally. I'm out back to another gazebo, and this is my little hot tub area. I love it. This I love it. Fountains. I love the just the sounds of the water. Oh, Very yeah. Relaxing. This is totally like, I don't know. It, all, it, it kind of feels like super... Super ritzy country club too, you know. Just yeah. everything is just so fancy. As she could never. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, in real life, I'm um not an extreme minimalist, but I'm very close to it. So that's why uh, everything has its place and everything's kind of. I guess I, I'm not really sure if I'm clean core or pra- practical. I don't really know the difference. Um. I, I w- uh, so you'll have to maybe maybe I have kill to me. say I'm like you sure. you're totally clean core yeah okay. Okay. totally clean core because yeah. this is like it's it's just so fancy it's so mm-hmm. fancy you know yeah, it's you. like when you when you have such precise placement of things and I mean just this. Look at that view, like right behind me. It's just like incredible. You just have this this whole beautiful framing of of everything. But yeah, no, this, this is we we are totally gonna be back. We're totally gonna be back. Go ahead and sign up for for like a full tour. Um, Denebla has been really cool, and the rest of the mods have been cool about posting a link in chat. And I will be seeing you later. That's this is the thing. This is the thing that's gonna be happening. Good deal. Well, thank you for visiting. No, pleasure is all mine, Dunleith, and I'll uh, I will see you around. How you doing? Can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Can you hear me? I can. Somebody's been busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of, but like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, girl look at all these good stuff yeah uh i'm still trying to work on getting more of these uh folding uh things to kind of block this off i kind of want to hide the house so you don't really see it till you walk in oh so yeah it's kind of like a surprise but uh yeah, yeah this is what i've done so far you've I, done I, I didn't a great realize job these light up unless you walk up to them which i didn't know it could be but, yeah. um it could be your settings, which is a is oh. a possibility too. If you look on the screen, like um, there's a whole lot of whole lot of stuff. Everything is all lit up for me because oh, okay. I re- recall you play on a Switch, right? Yeah. Yeah. First off, holy smokes! Like you're pulling this off with uh with a Switch. That's incredible. Like it's gorgeous. Change the form. I I. I found this idea for the pathing from someone on YouTube. I forgot her name. It's like witchy something. Yep, witchy TQ. With the yeah, with the um, with your blo- uh, blocks and so yeah. I've been doing that. Sweet. I, and I like it for the farm. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is really cool. You got you got. I I had a feeling about you. I'm I had not a feeling really sure about what I'm going to do with this pavilion, though. I got it. I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. And now that I have it, I have no clue what I'm going to do with it. But you got <laughs> it. And you know what? Yeah. This is like, since you have all of your directional lighting here, you can do like a nice little dance floor. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah. Denebola says, yeah. Uh, fence section's beautifully done. Path beautifully done. Ideals will come. So don't don't worry about it. Yeah, I I didn't want to do too much in the front, just a little something. I I mean, this is probably a lot to a lot of people. (laughs) (laughs) 
I've seen people do like you know a lot of like extravagant you know entrances, but I didn't want to take up too much space. Mm-hmm. You know, just mm-hmm. I didn't want to do like the typical like you know huge like you know multiple fountains and things like that. <sighs> I changed up the kitchen a little bit. I yeah. changed the wallpaper. Um, I love this, and you know we have done a. We did a, a speed tour of your house before. Mm-hmm. And I think the cool thing about the speed tours, especially if we're seeing um, different people or the same person, I mean, you could just see the progression. And I yeah, think that's and such I, a soul. The wood. I like the wood with the, I love this wallpaper, the olive with like, it's like green and like, it kind of looks kind of like gold kind of. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's really pretty. How many it's of y'all clean favorite. core people? are like yeah you're hitting all the notes by the way you're totally hitting all the clean core notes and i love this white tile you can tell it's everywhere no it's so cool I just kind of kept it over. but yeah this will be the bathroom not done yet uh just have some i'm collecting furniture yeah at this point and don't hate it <laughs> yeah yeah we've we've be- had a lot of clean core folks tonight kaslin I agree. I love it. I love it. I just yeah. The plan is to kind of extend the back and make a like um um like an outdoor like I don't know what you would call it, but I plan to put like a waterfall back there and like kind of like a garden, flowers that type of thing back here. Oh, yeah. So it'll be enclosed, like, so I'll have the rooms, I'll add, like, hallways as extensions, so it'll it be enclosed. That yeah, just make just sure you don't uh, end up having tree grits, you know? It's oh, yeah. I, I kept all these trees, so um, I don't plan to cut all of them. Yeah. Plus, I have lots of seeds, so I can plant. Yeah, totally. I have to cut down, but. Totally. Yeah, some progress. No, it's a lot of progress, Sarah. A lot of progress. <laughs> a lot of wonderful progress. And it'll be so cool just to uh, be able to showcase this. And you know, if I may, if I may impose mm-hmm. uh, a small opinion here, I don't really think that you need the dividers. No, Th- that's my small opinion. The reason why is because mm-hmm. the pattern that you have for the floral like the uh, floral thing, the fence, uh, fencing, and all of the shrubbery and the trees and everything like that. This obfuscates the house just enough, but okay, you still have just this beautiful thing to look at before you even get to the house. Like once I came around the corner, it's like, this is awesome. Just like the, uh, the view that I have coming into your plot. It's awesome as it is. And then coming around mm-hmm. the corner here, you have this beautiful light and everything and you can just you can have this uh create a beautiful path that leads up to this house like you're a talented designer sarah i don't think you really need too much yeah no (laughs) totally i I think i've had a lot of like uh i guess like i I don't know if you would say experience or whatever i I played animal crossing for a long time oh yeah a lot of like games with like designing and stuff like that so it's things that i love to do so we have um, a we have kind of a joke in the committee about what's your gaming resume, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but this, yeah, in this is absolutely incredible, Sarah. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah, uh, no, thanks for signing. I always up. have a good time, and chat is great. They're always really kind. Yes, they with are. Their comments. Yes, they are. Oh, data uh, says definitely you, beautiful fence line. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we're going over to uh, uh, Queen Tiger Girls next. I'll go and I'll uh, pull you into Watermelon. And I will see you around, Miss Sarah. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Look at this progress. We got some awesome progress. Hello, hello. You built onto some things here. Gonna check out. So one thing I really liked about this plot here is like you used up all of your lot space. You know, you got all these chests. You've been playing uh, 
Palea quite a bit to get a, a good collection of chests. And look at this house, though. I mean, you got some things going on here. You got a lot of cool things going on. Don't mind me. I'm just kind of meandering. But, like, I can see where you're going with this. You have this really cool walkway that's going to be well lit. Let's go check out the inside. Oh, yeah. Look at how sweet this is. This is so sweet. And we got some sight lines. I like the blues. Really nice blues. I don't see this blue too often. It's such a such a uh, calming blue. Conscious. Oh, I like this. I like that wallpaper. That's a that's a fun wallpaper. I feel like I'm. Uh, in a super, like, super fancy room. Like, I'm on, I feel like I'm on vacation in here. I don't know if that's a vibe that you're going for, but I get that vibe. Like, I feel like I'm on vacation. I love these sight lines. Lots of really fun things to look at. Do y'all ever notice that? I don't like running into lights with the camera, so I'll move the camera slightly to avoid it. I don't know if anybody else ducks, but I do. I love this area. I really like the baby blues. Baby blue room. That's super cool. Super, super cool. Look at that. Wonderful progression. Yeah, coming along very nicely, very nicely. That is, this is the, that's the front of the plot. And we have a, a back too. Yeah, the blues are really fantastic. I noticed you've had to get rid of some of your fencing here too. So you can totally get uh, creative with fencing, you know, that way they, the fencing totally, um, totally needed, like, it'll eat up your asset count and you can get creative with some of the items that way you can uh, focus more, more items like in your house and on your plot, but very, very well done. Very, very well done. Thank you so much for having me. Got a nice thing going on, and I will uh, I will see you all. I'll see you in a, see you for the next time as you add more things to it. No. No. Well, we haven't <laughs> seen your fair. stuff in a while. You you were one of my um my early tours. Well, this is an entirely new plot. This Ooh. is it doesn't even have a name yet, so. This is my fourth one, I think. Nice. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Diablo oh, you know Gato. I don't... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know I don't like fencing, but I wanted to do kind of like a Spanish like villa. Nice. And I thought this kind of looked like terracotta, these little uh, benches. Yeah. I... So... I can see like the retaining roll look that you're going for. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that was my thought process here. I want to obviously do a lot more flowers, but I'm waiting till I finish the inside. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to, even though this is much less clutter core than usual. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Acid, are you, so we'll are you moving the needle? Are you moving the needle? The style is more clean. Because of the style, you want to go this way first, I think. Okay, yeah, I'll follow um, on you. Because of the Spanish villa style is more open. Ooh, ooh! I like your so bubblegum hair, by the way. It's very you. Thank you. It actually is very me. Like my hair is actually those colors. <laughs> oh, cool. 
So yeah, like lots of little seating areas. I thought this kind of looked like outdoor furniture, this industrial stuff. It does, doesn't it? Like, yeah. You want to think that it would be soft to sit on, but it's like, you know, built to get wet. (laughs) Yeah, it's that sunbeam or whatever it's called. (laughs) Right. It like it's like Um, canvas. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah, Nice little fire pit. Fire pit. Uh huh. Nice. And our birdie isn't there, but uh, as long as you stay on the side of the fence, the bird will stay there. So that's Uh, another reason for the fence. Yes. Yes. That's another uh, fun, fun thing, too. People have kind of found out, like, what the boundaries are. Yeah. Ooh, I like I like these. I like what you've done with these. I like these in general, too, but. I get the yeah. I get the vibes of, like, you know, the the outdoor areas at a restaurant. You got ceiling fans that do absolutely nothing for the heat. Exactly. They, they move the hot air around. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This will eventually be a full bar. I need to put some more seating in here. Uh, but did I miss something? Lo- did I miss something, Denebola? Could you turn her volume up? Yes, I can. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I also moved my mic away because I'm usually really loud. Nope, that's okay. I also <laughs> have some audio things to address. Speak. Hello. There you go. Is that, Is that better? better? And also turning up in discord too so i like to make sure we get all of the good audios and one more time there cool there she is loud and clear yeah pretty soon they'll be saying please turn her down she's too loud and annoying (laughs) no (laughs) no Uh, so we have some outhouses over here in case anyone partakes a little too heavily in uh the bar area Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this will be cleaned up more. Uh, the gazebo isn't really anything yet. It's going to be, like, a little spa area, but I haven't gotten there yet. Gotcha. It's, uh, so much potential. Yeah, it will be. It will be. I promise there's actual decorated stuff here. Um, but I really, it, I really like the, the, like, the villa style, like you said. Thank you. I yeah. thought this is like it looks oh my gosh. To me like cornhole. Oh yeah. Yeah, that does that does look like cornhole. I got excited like that you made a range a range grill. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you open like, it, there's something you can see the steam coming out of it. I can. I don't think I can open it though. Can you open it? You you can't open it? Oh, there it is. Pizza. Yeah. See, I thought it looked like pizza too. That's the quiche. I'm like your pizza. Your you pizza. Lie. Your pizza yeah. with extra steps. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so this is like I figured kind of like my outdoor grilling area. We have our actual grill over here in the very corner because it doesn't make much yet, unfortunately. Yeah. I like the I like this this decoration i know this is one of the newer things but this is cool this is a nice little mood lighting yeah at night it looks really cool everything here i have pretty dim uh because i think it adds a lot of ambiance yeah cat fancy says it's a chicago style pizza oh ah those are so good they are so good (laughs) i'm glad i just ate or else that would make me hungry oh Um, i'm yeah i'm already hungry (laughs) There's cereal so, in my future, so. Oh, I had Chick-fil-A. It was delicious. Nice. Um, That's just like a little garden. This is my junk room right now, basically. Um, I just kind of dumped everything in here that I don't have a spot for just yet. Oh, it's your clutter core it, room. Kind of. It's not going to be that cluttery, but uh, I, know. I want this to be like a bunch of junk anyway, so. Okay. Uh. It's your clutter core closet. You know, you got to keep yes, it contained. It's, it's the closet where I hide everything so it looks clean inside my house. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've done that a couple uh, of times when I was a when I was a kid. It's like made my room look like it was clean, but I just put everything underneath the bed. Yeah. Drove my mom insane. Yeah. Now you'd get in big trouble. Yes. <laughs> uh, so. This is cool. I like this little cute seating area. It's the little things, y'all. It's the little things. 
Yeah, so obviously a lot more walking room in here than most of my houses. Yes, I I don't know. I feel like I have elbow room. Yeah. I feel weird about it. I feel it kind this... of makes me sad, but I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm learning to live with it. Uh that's cool though. Uh, I like the place settings that you have. Those are yeah, some I, tiny plates though. Those are the dessert plates, yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know, they're on a diet dessert. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's kind of funny. It's just like you get one some, cookie. You get one cookie and it's on this beautiful charger. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, I only know I what that's called because of Ellie. I'm a domesticated male, of course. Yes, uh, I played a lot with a lot of the new wallpapers, so you'll see that. Like, I thought yeah. that would kind of, like, backsplash and stuff, and these houses have a lot of color. I don't know you anymore. What is this clean core kitchen I that I'm know. looking at? I know, I told it's you. It's so galley, and you have this nice little bay window. Are you I feeling know. okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, I challenged myself this time. No, that truthfully though, that is a, a really, really cool thing, and it's something that I have noticed a lot too. If people have a uh, a certain style that they start out with, like for example, you started out with cluttercore, and then stretching your boundaries to do a style that's out of your comfort zone, home run. It's hard. It's yeah, hard. It's hard. It's hard, but it wouldn't be a challenge, True. you know. So. It's cool that um, you know we've seen some of the designers, the other the other paleon tour guides, uh, to uh, to channel that very 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 small sliver of themselves to kind of yeah. go for that design style. But if you but, also think about it too, not to cut you off, I'm sorry. Oh no no you're fine. Yeah, uh, if y'all think about it too, like what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen is you're looking at the foundation of a clutter yes. core home. <laughs> so I watched, I heard, you, yeah, I heard, oh, go ahead. No, 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 sorry. You go, I ahead. Was gonna, you go ahead. I was going to say you, in one of your tours recently, you talked with someone about how they went one room at a time. Yes. And that's kind of the opposite of how I did this. I put down all my big furniture first mm -hmm. so that uh, I could know what my plan was for each room. And have at least, like, if I ran out of assets, like, at least I have a bed in there or something, you know? Yes. And now I can go fill in, you know, with small decor. And it's funny that you mentioned that because, like, that that aspect is kind of, and I could be totally wrong because uh, everybody knows I'm more of a practical type of guy. But that kind of iteration that you have and layering and stuff like that, that's... To me, that's kind of what I imagine like decorating in clutter core is like. It's a lot of yeah. iteration. So you kind of have like this first pass and then you just kind of like layer and add a little bit more at a time. Uh, mm -hmm. But that was a uh, peach pop. Yeah, She's in chat it was right now. so good. It was so good. But my brain doesn't work that way. Like you say, this is the first pass. This <laughs> is already like the 10th pass. Yes. Because I will move everything around. Also, because these are colors that I'm not used to. Um, like, this is super different from my other house or my other houses. Yes, it is. It is. I'm just, I'm tickled right now, Demon Kitty, because I know you. And <laughs> and I don't know if, if you're like, if you're having a good time or if you're like secretly twitching your eye, you know, you're like, this is so, this is such a struggle. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Well, here, you'll see the part where this is where I go when I need to feel better uh well i should go this way because it looks better if you come in through this way okay but i will say I... it's this is very well done very well done Thank i don't want to minimize this at all no no i like i said it was a challenge for me but if i feel like i have too much room inside i come yeah, in yeah there it is i <laughs> knew it that... <laughs> it still has room okay you can i know walk. just i'm playing with you no this is really <laughs> cool though very cool though i mean even even in this space like you still have lots of room you still have the the kind of mm, misplaced but balance 
aspect of of clutter core especially like these these uh flowers like they look like they're um like they're growing naturally yeah i did those ones and the ones over above the fountain here um to oh, really give a lot of what do we have in here wow look at these colors these are cool i told you what crazy so this is one of the bedrooms wow uh, this person really likes fish yeah look at this you know it, it's so fun um to kind of see different sides of of uh, designers i love that wallpaper by the way and the colors uh -huh. that you were incorporated it uh incorporated with it it's it's a uh, i don't want to attach a, a gender to it or anything but it's 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 proper girly oh yeah it is there's a few masculine touches like the investigator stuff yeah but whether this is if this is a if this is a you know heteronormative couple then you know this is a very understanding husband yeah and if not then it makes perfect sense too <laughs> yeah i love the colors though i mean you totally know the color is it it's very colorful it's very balanced Thank i love you. all the little little touches here and there little um pockets of of your other personality yes <laughs> This is like the most cluttered room, but it's mostly because I wanted them to have a private bathroom in here with a walk-in yeah. closet like the other one. Oh. Denebla says, uh, never thought I'd like that wallpaper until you did it. You're you're making fans out of people, you know? Oh, thanks. Yeah, some of them seem overwhelming when you put it up on a blank wall. But if you put a few things in front of it and you don't see quite as much of it, then it starts to feel like less overbearing yeah it makes it less busy that's that's a good point yeah, yeah. and now we're but yeah now we went we're full back. circle well yep, done that's where we are at the moment well done yeah i i can see you're going you're going places with this i mean this is always a home run and and like i mentioned before you know um some of my earlier tours i think uh when i toured some of your plots um it was when my hair was longer and shaggy. I felt like an angsty teenager, but <laughs> no. And and also, I want to call. Um, I want to give you a shout out to uh, thank you again for boosting the server, the Discord server. I really, it really means a lot. Oh, That's course, very generous of, of you. No problem. Mini Guinea Mini Tour. Yep. That's where. That's where my brain. <laughs> that's where my brain went. And the new plot I'm working on. All right, cool. Feedback. I wasn't meant to actually show it off yet, but I thought, well, I asked the others if I should do it. And Ellie said, of course you should. Then you have something to look back on when you have progressed a bit more. So She she knows. She knows some things. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's the mini, yinny, mini tour. <laughs> all right hello wow well, the, the, this is just a storage at the moment so oh i was but gonna say it's, my, uh, <laughs> that's a little my fishy <laughs> it's oh my gosh <laughs> wait a minute do, yenny is this I your do. surveillance is this I feel well, like this no, is your surveillance. You don't need cameras. Don't you have all these fish. <laughs> I don't want the intruders in, you know. Yeah. You'll scare them off with the way those fish are looking at you. Oh, yes. Oh, well, look this... at this. <clears throat> yeah. I have been playing around with an idea of making one of these and then four three trees and another pavilion oh. and another set of trees. So you Look have like a full this. pathway. Yeah. And this is awesome. This build is actually going to be a lot out of my comfort zone. A lot. All right. Because I am actually going to try just to tribute Ooh. to Lisa to do actually a bit of witchy clutter type of home. Ooh. And you heard, you heard correct. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. Lisa's already an influencer. That's cool. <laughs> she have been over and she's when she saw the room down in the end, it was like you absolutely need to go witchy. That's oh it. yeah. But, we have a challenge from chat. Kidding. If if you would humor me for <laughs> s just a second. <clears throat> okay. Five times. Mini any mini tour. 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 All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> well, the I wanted to make the kitchen full makeshift, but at the moment I'm really lacking a lot of the makeshift items. So I had to chuck in whatever I can find. Um, and I was playing with an alternative type of oven, like a wood oven. I with the like bits. that. Yeah, I like that. Like a built-in oven into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I was Ellie. just like, <laughs> the first time I saw it, I was like, I need to do that because, again, me, fire. What can oh, I yeah. Say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's cool too, because like you can totally make a, a kitchen look even fancier by having like a, a double oven. That's oh, I know yes. that's that's a dream. Oh, I love this. Yeah, you got the plates here too. Nice. See, <clears throat> this is picture proof that we inspire each other just through the Discord. Not even just through oh, the yes. tours, but through the Discord itself. That's why the inspiration exchange is so important. Definitely. I love but your colors again, here. Yesterday, I had Ellie over because I had a hard time to decide which colors I wanted on the wall in it to match that one. Uh, yeah. I had a few choices and she said, no, that red one is the best one. Okay, well, I'll <laughs> go for the red one. Yeah, she, she doesn't know her colors, that's for sure. Oh, yes. And then that's my bedroom. Oh, how cool. Very, very good use of colors. I like how organic this room feels and very fresh. And I like the nice little uh, hiding of the lights that you're doing there. That's a nice trick. I've actually taken Panda's advice on the lights and I was like, okay, I need to try that. And I'm surprised how little uh, ceiling lights you need. And yes, yeah. that's my challenge from Panda. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I was, uh, he probably have told you when I got over and saw his, uh, his room, I was like, oh, I can't leave this. And I just kept going back to it. And he said, I would like you to make a room that is inspired by with your own twist on it. And I was like, oh, I'm not That's sure beautiful. I can do that, but I pulled it off. Oh, you totally pulled it off. Yeah, you totally pulled it off. And those of you who aren't familiar with this room, yeah, you'll have to wait a little bit because <clears throat> Commit is going to have that in his queue and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> It is going to oh, be amazing. Yes. If you're a YouTube member, the moment that I get it ready, which will probably be working on it uh, this weekend, you'll have Ooh. it. You'll probably have it this, you know, pretty close to this weekend. Next batch of videos yeah, that I, I need to work to, on. But I definitely <laughs> wanted to do, let's try I do the clutter because I was like, I need to try and show something off that I have constantly said I cannot do and I am never going to do. And I thought, well, you know what? You need to do it. You need to get out of that little bubble of your comfort. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's what happens in here. I and really like how you use this pavilion. That's such a cool touch. Oh, yes. I hope when I have got the others up and the trees, it will be even better. Oh, yeah. We got some things and going over on over here. here. It's going to be like an outdoor moonstruck spa area. Nice. But I'm still missing another bathtub. Yeah. Yeah. With a lot of trees and candles and stuff. I love it. I love it. And again, all my fires. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> gotta have all the fires. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, yes. that's been a mini any mini tour. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I already know this is going to be good. Well, my house is small. Um, it's, uh, yeah, so we'll just start. It's no, really, small. this, you'll see. So we'll start with it first. Okay. I, I love how it opens up and wow. I, Look at I all like this. it better at night. <laughs> We will time. We got it timed just perfectly. As we walk through, the time's going to change, and it's going to be very pretty. Okay. But yeah, I'll follow you. I'm following you. Where are we going? You are the professional here. Well, I love the this... colors that you chose. Well, thanks. Very As you can tell by my outfit, I'm a green and pink girl. Yes. Yes. Love the flower beds. Says Odata Violet. I like the. You know, I see this and I'm a big fan. <laughs> but yeah, well, this is the house, actually. Um, the corner right there, that's the living room. And then there's the gaming center, <laughs> uh, oh. a chair, uh, and my desk. That's, yeah. Yeah, like but... Like I said, it's small. No. Let's not minimalize this at all. Uh, the left-hand side of the house is my bathroom and bedroom. And then the right is the kitchen Start off with this Just gorgeous dining, kitchen so. over here. Oh, <laughs> is this is this what I think it is? Uh, some crock kind pot. Of pot from the Machi Market. <laughs> no, I'm saying, is this a crock pot? Because sign me oh, up. Uh, yes, that is the fancy crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Look at this! Look at this dining area. We've seen some incredible dining areas today. And Everyone is one. really doing a good job with their stuff. You are too. I, I've win. been very impressed with everyone's work. I know. No, this this really is so. <laughs> it's so meta. I can't say fancy because that's that's already that's already in your name. <laughs> oh yeah, and I I like this area over here too. Like this is kind of where you have all your preserves and your. Uh, fresh produce and your poofy shrooms. This is really neat. If you stand right where I'm standing okay. and you look out, look at the sink out that window. Ooh, that's a fun sight line. Here's a bird. It's that's a bird. cool. I have a sight line for you out this back door. Okay, I'm following you. We don't have to go out there, just open it and you'll see. <gasps> it's another baby. Oh, I like the Kitsu. The Kitsu is just so, so proud. It just like stands so proud. It's adorable. So yeah, kitchen, dining, and then the little bedroom that, that's actually for my granddaughter. Oh... This is sweet. That's another fun thing that I've noticed. Um, people putting like uh, putting bedrooms for their kids or their grandkids or nieces or nephews. You know, the, yeah. the young people in their life. So sweet. She wasn't she wasn't impressed with it. She uh, she doesn't like the the open uh, bathroom. <laughs> give give her a couple of years. She'll understand. It's wait. So, th I mean, this is totally, okay. The vibe that I get from your house, I totally feel like this, we are, we're clean core here. I feel like this is clean core. But I wonder, I wonder if, uh, if she's a different core, you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes the cores don't <laughs> jive. <laughs> I'm, I'm clean core in real life, so... I, I was hoping for that, but I feel like it's cluttery just because it's not how I am in real life. So when you have, <laughs> that's another funny thing about clean core is like when you're just like, oh, it's cluttery. Oh, uh, it's, it's clean. Sorry. <laughs> I like this. I like this. This is wow. That's a beautiful flower. Isn't it? 
Yeah, that's a nice, that is a beautiful centerpiece for that window. Yeah. Like, you don't need anything else there. I, I made sure the view going, looking out and looking in of the bay windows are, are beautiful. Yeah, that's really cool. This is nice too, like the portrait of Esh. That little wardrobe area, that's cool. Oh, I like what you did with this nook. That is a tight hey. fit, but that is a perfect fit. I know. I feel like uh, everyone gets the same stuff in games, so, and I'm not creative, so it's hard. It's probably boring for you because you see everything, but it's still neat to see how other people like live. <laughs> One, I'm not bored. I'm very well entertained. Thank you very much. Two, this is amazing. I do like how you show the same amount of enthusiasm for like people's mansions and also like just one room harvest house, you know? Do you want to know a secret? Yes. It's genuine. No, it definitely gives off genuine. Yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm not BSing my, my enthusiasm. I'm, I just, I love, like you said, you know, how everybody has the same tools to work with, uh, different items, but they do them in different ways. And that's where the beauty, that's where the beauty is. And we have found through definitive proof that you can take notes from anywhere, you know, just even how people place just like a small handful of items. We're getting into the, the magic hour. One of my favorites too. When the lights kind of start dimming. Yeah. Where to next? Uh, well, it's um, it's two zones. Um, so one side is my worker zone, and then the other side is the guest zone. So which way do you want to go? Uh, let's go this way first. Looks like the Be worker zone. Go ahead. Yes, Ooh. worker zone. I love this. Yeah, Denevola, 100%. She says, your landscaping alone is first rate. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this really is incredible. Nice job. Got the makeshift mirror. Oh, let's just kind of mosey on in here oh my goodness this is the bunkhouse this is where my uh my my workers live they just sleep oh. and that's pretty much it here <laughs> that's so cute though how you have the little uh the chest like the foot foot chest oh my gosh yeah in the corner there you can see kenyatta uh, she hangs out here sometimes so yeah yeah, that's cool. She left her bag. <laughs> and then Bob there on the end, he's got his horn because he's a drinker. That's why he's got the beer by the bed. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah, they have their own little personalities. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the, the level of detail that you put into just the outdoor areas is... Is is gonna make obviously. lots of people jealous. And look, we're this getting to the down. perfect, perfect time where everything just kind of starts to come alive. Oh, this is so cool. Just a basic work area here. I don't have a camera, but I'm making a face. I'm just like, okay, yeah, right, basic, yeah, okay, sure. Well, no. The, there was one video you did that I fell in love with their outdoor area. Um, mm -hmm. Gosh, I wish I could remember who it was, but describe man, it. If I wasn't too lazy to redo my stuff, um, <laughs> like each of their each of their little workstations was surrounded by, um, I don't know stuff. <laughs> yeah, orders and stuff. I'm gonna have to find the video and then I'll, I'll let you know. All right, cool. Hey, Brittany, how's it going? We're doing some live tours. Amazing, amazing stuff. 
Yeah, nothing this, basic. This about is this. where they eat. This is their break room and their kitchen. So, oh, their, their I love fridge. that design. <laughs> I like. I mean, even just a small space. This is what's really cool for me. Is this is one of the first things that we get in the game? Is a tin, and some people just they get rid of it, but. It's a, it's a true testament that you can do some incredible things in such a small space. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Doing live tours. Doing live tours. This, this walkway here is awesome. Yeah, that leads to my garden and my gardener's um, little house. Well, his tent. Oh. You know how hard it was for me to say that's intense. It's very, <laughs> very difficult. Oh, I love this. This is cool. So before you were using the, the chest and, and everything, but you actually use like the, the storage chest for the. Yeah. 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 That's a good, no good, nice touch and incorporated the side of the plot with the flowers. That is really neat too. That's very sweet. <laughs> you could give me a fancy tent and I would use it. We kind of need a fancy tent. It would be nice to be able to recolor the tents. I also have a little shortcut right here between the tents so I can go from the work zone to the garden without having to go around. And you made it pretty too. That's fun. <laughs> Ah, uh, so I guess we did we see everything on this side. We're ready to go to the next side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but still, I mean, round of applause. Lots of wonderful <laughs> details, you. and we came at like the first time or the right time where things just kind of start coming alive, and that's always a nice, Yay. nice little treat. So through here is where I feed my guests. Ooh. Yeah, Brittany, just do a Q join. And you can join my Discord and I'll do a voice chat if you're interested. I love this. I love this. Or if you know some people, you can send them my way. And then if they uh, want to walk it off, they can walk through that gate you just walked through and just look at bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you can stargaze. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I love this little area. I love this little yeah, area. little hidden picnic spot. Yeah. The only, the only place for sure I hate that I know I'm going to change is this, uh, this fish room right here. You don't like the fish room? I I don't like it at all. <laughs> Why? It's so gorgeous. I don't know. Um, I'm just not feeling it. So, oh, it's just but I don't know what to do fishy. with the fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, the way that you've displayed them is really cool. I mean, it's I just, very... It's just so basic. I see other people coming up with such great creative ideas, but I don't want to copy them. <laughs> like someone made a bar out of the fish, and I thought that was so cool. Well, okay. Do you need me to write on a sheet of paper that says you can totally borrow anything from my tours? No, I, I know, mean... but I, I want it to be meaningful to me, you know? So no, that's perfectly I'm... understandable. Perfectly understandable. You done one of those? Anyways. So oh, nice. After they eat, they can go in here, listen to music, dance, whatever. Um, oh, I love this. I'm going to add the pavilion at some point. I just, I'm at my limit, so I'll probably have to add it to my second plot. I've started it, so. Ooh, nice. If they're too inebri inebriated to drive, they can uh, stay in the guest house, which is right over here. All right, following you. Oh, yeah. It's very Zeki House feels. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's so cool. I kind of like how you, you separated these two areas. Like, even though they're linked together, you separated them nice. This is a very efficient kitchen, you know? Yeah. I gave them a little kitchenette table, uh, you know, 
And then there's a bedroom right there. So if anybody ever wonders, Zeki is 100% eclectic core, you know. But still, his stuff is like so, so chic and classy. Oh, yeah. This is well done. Well, well done. And then there's just one more thing. Okay. You want to you wanna make the bird fly away? Oh, I don't want to make the word bird fly away. Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Okay. If I must. Bye, <laughs> birdie. <laughs> So the, uh, oh, this area, ooh. This is the last thing. This is uh, for my, my dog. I had a golden named Bella, and so I just come here and think of her every day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not fair. It's just not fair that, uh, it's not. you know. You know exactly where I was going with it. Yes, we have yes. we have some, some very sweet dogs too, and we just uh, we don't deserve them. No, we do not deserve dogs. Absolutely, do not deserve dogs. They they're not with us long enough. So yeah, um, yeah. That's very beautiful. Very very beautiful. Yeah. This this is awesome. This oh, is awesome I have right so many here. bathrooms, like with all the the little loos, the porta loos. <laughs> no, but this is like it's the, private. Bathrooms everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well ventilated too. Ah, uh, did we covered everything? I think just in time too. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Oh my gosh, yeah, totally, totally. Um, hit me up for a full tour. That way we can do like a full Q and A and everything. But it is a honor and a pleasure. You've done some fantastic work. Fantastic work. Thanks. Take the W. Take the W. It's very well done. Hello, hello. So those of you who don't know, we've we've uh, done like different tours. Wow, I like how you use that wallpaper in the front of your house. That's so cool. That's a nice touch. That. Yeah. Well, you know the drill. Where are we heading? The plot layout hasn't changed uh, much, but I've added just a few things. Uh, pavilion being probably the most recent change. I like it. Yeah. I, I like I how people an, have... Yeah, I wanted an outdoor picnic place. Um started laying down some of the pal tech uh yeah. including that that fan yeah and the I'm most recent addition <laughs> <laughs> and then of course that's the most recent addition right there i just got the grill so meat's ready nice if you're hungry yes i am <laughs> uh the inside of my my workshop hasn't changed a bit but i did change up the outside and that way you get to see that uh, that one wallpaper just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, it, I'll it pop just, in here. Oh, if you Ooh. want to go in, go go ahead. But like, yeah, like I said, the inside has not changed an ounce. That's okay. Those of you, you know, there there have probably been some people that, you know, I, I put out quite a lot of videos and they probably haven't caught up yet. So it's fun to still I see it, you know, live. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I lots take of that little back. notes. Yeah, I, I take that back. I did make that room you were just in a little bit bigger, and I added a couple pieces of Paltech vents to the floor um, over here next to the things that actually use a lot of fire. Yeah. Those are, yeah, I like very the, subtle changes. I, I remember, like, I like the style of this. It's very Santa Fe, you know? Very, like, New yes. Mexico. That's really cool. Oh, I was totally inspired by the by the uh, mining wallpaper. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Brittany, added... it's really cool because like uh, we've there have been a couple of cases, especially with uh, Lisa's house, where 
we show progression and it's it's kind of neat to see that that um that progression i've totally changed up my uh my gazebo oh yeah it, it looks like now. you are a food scientist oh no i just have have the munchies sometimes when i when i do science <laughs> but yeah it's both the sci science lab and the observatory and of course um Sometimes I do my best work when I have someone to talk to, so that's why the little plush dragon's here. You know, this is a very good uh, programming tool. Uh, I, you know, in programming, we use duck. rubber ducks. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Yep. I was at one time trying to teach myself uh, coding, but being the Harry Potter geek, instead I made a flat Arthur Weasley. Um, <laughs> I, I thought he would enjoy standing in. <laughs> <laughs> I never got very far. Um, uh, I've, add, I've added the well since you were here last. And as you can tell, I removed the fence from around the garden. The uh, plot yeah. lineup is the same, but it feels a lot more naturalistic now. I Yeah, I totally agree with that. Because when you get creative and you, you take away like the concept of fencing and then you start adding in the other elements... It really makes it makes a big difference. Yeah, that's a nice yes. touch. That was a nice touch. Yeah, when I can get a a uh, uh, when I can get another starred ladybug, mm -hmm. I, I plan to add some ladybugs to that garden because you know the uh, the ladybugs are are bug prevention and the butterflies are the pollinators. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, we're still go we're still going around. Um, and I'm gonna once keep my distance for Rita. Actually, Rita is somebody else's. I have Lily and Luna. Oh, Lily and Luna. Okay, cool. Yes. Oh, the babies. Yep. So proud. I intentionally didn't go visit them so you could see them a little closer. Um, yep. Up to you if you want to take pictures or not. Uh, we'll we'll we got a good view from here. Nice wide angle here. Rita, thank yep. you, Yanni. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I knew I knew somebody had a, a special name, so yes, <laughs> oh, several of them named their their creatures. But I still wanted my spot, so I moved it over here. Oh, the lifeguards stand ready. Yes, they do. I don't know about the one on the right. He's a little occupied with his snack. <laughs> Yeah, it's something about eating before going in the water. Yeah, you might um, get a tummy ache. <laughs> yep. The tent has not changed, but if anybody wants to see it, they are welcome to it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's fancy. I just, I like the the dark investigator stuff. It's such Ooh. a vibe. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Now, this has changed since you were here last. Um, an idea I raided from um, another Discord. The, they made basically a hibachi-style grill. I love that. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, I can see that now that you... Yeah, that is really neat. That is really neat. Hibachi-style. Oh, man. I miss oh, hibachi. Love it. Yeah, it's it's expensive enough. I don't go eat hibachi as much as I crave sometimes. I know. And yeah, I might have to and go get I me a poke bowl again I, sometime. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love um, this tea set. Yeah, little tea and and uh, uh, pot stickers, that kind of thing. Mm. So oh yes, yeah. and the chopper fountain's working again. Yay! Yay! Celebrate the chopper fountain. Yes. Love the use of screens. Yeah. Yenny oh, says, yeah. you've been so creative. And I agree. To that, but always bring in the heat. Trying I to. like how you incorporated the fans into this wallpaper. Like, they blend in perfectly. Um, but you can still kind of notice, like, the pattern. Like, you incorporate it very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually change in the wall decorations, just the wallpaper. And so, it's the whole place... I took inspiration from all the Maji Market stuff, and it's it's essentially uh, my my Zen household. Because um, I mean, I love fit it. in with the blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. And very well done. Silverware has been added. 
Yes. Oh, yes. Very simple thing, but very impactful. Very much so. Um, and um, I have totally changed up that trophy room. It it looked fancy, but it never quite sat right with me. So now some of these trophies are just sort of mixed in randomly throughout the house where they fit. I like that. I, li yeah. I totally dig the... Uh... I remember uh, during our video, clean core kitchen, 100%. Mm -hmm. Very nice very and tidy. So. Uh, this space, I think the only thing I've added is a, is a couple of the 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 mugs of chocolate milk and by, by the fireplace are a couple of friends. Oh, yes. Oh, very. Yeah, that's how they keep warm. Snuggles. So. Now this room really Ooh. changed. Oh, yeah, it did. You yeah. totally changed the feeling of this room for sure. I did. I like it so much better. Uh, I still have a building for my trophies on a different plot, but it it just didn't feel right in here. So yeah. uh, I loved what I had done in the center, but uh, changing up the, the periphery of this, like I said, it just feels so much more peaceful. It does. Yeah, it does. You've you've really you've really lightened it up quite a lot. And mm -hmm. it it totally has like a, a nice nice thing. Hey Cecil, welcome so much. Looks like fun. I do. <laughs> this I looks like fun. Do you do a lot of home tours? Yes, I do a lot of home tours. Both I've, of the bedrooms now have bay windows. Oh, I, oh, I love apologize. It. I interrupted you. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It was a very valid question if I do a lot of home tours. I have toured probably 70, tour, 70 homes so far. Oh, golly. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the best tour guides on the internet. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's where I'll correct you. I'm just a tourist. You're the tour guide. <laughs> gotcha, the differentiation. <laughs> I also remember this room here, too. And I find that this is, it's, it's one of those things that's very beautiful. That, you know, we've seen in a lot of the tours today how people have, uh, added areas of remembrance and I remember how you use this room to express your religion and I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and like like you say, most most uh, uh, a lot of the other players uh, whether it's uh, the, the Phoenix, because that's an in-game uh, deity and, and so is uh, Maji the Dragon mm -hmm. but like I, like I uh, mentioned on our private tour, I figured we blunder into so many books while out and about. What's to say my character couldn't have blundered around into an ancient book of scriptures? And that's true. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how she found out. Yeah. Nice little headcanon, like you said, I uh, remember yeah. last time. Uh, did we cover the other side of your plot? Uh, yeah, we went, we went all the way around. Okay. Well, cool. Like I say. I mostly tried to just cover the things that that really changed. Yeah, but you know it's a pleasure though. Those of you who have not seen uh, uh, your house yet, um, it's always kind of fun just to like sit back, grab some popcorn, do it live, and you know, yeah, the lights have really kind of made this uh, made this plot come alive because we're kind of getting into the other uh, golden hour in the morning. But yeah, that's a. Oh. Uh, so much hot pot for these lights. I know, I know, I know. Thank you so much again, Denevola. 